Monica Garcia out to the Phoenix Herpetological Society to verify it for us this morning. Monica, what do experts say about that, grabbing the snake by the head? I mean, I think I know what they're gonna say, but yeah. It's so ridiculous. Right. Go. Let's go ahead and clear it up right now. Okay. We're verifying whether or not you can avoid getting bit by a snake by reaching around and grabbing its little snake head. Daniel from Herbological Society, what say you? Yeah, that is the most foolish thing I could ever imagine doing. It's crazy. Okay, but the worries part of the worrisome part of this video is kids will see it, teens will see it, they'll be out on a hike and they'll go, hey, I know just what to do. What should people do when they come across a snake? They should avoid the snake. They should step away from the snake and leave it alone. Doing what they do, you know, when you see these viral videos on TV like that, kids just want to emulate what they saw and they want to impress their friends. And this is how we get kids that get bit by watching these foolish things on, on YouTube and stuff. In fact, Daniel says on average, seven to 10 people die, guys, die every year from getting bit by a snake. Of course, there's thousands of bites, but you just never know. Okay, so now that it's warm outside, more people are going outside into their yards or hiking. What do people need to be looking out for? Well, the, the snakes are out with this warmer temperatures that we're having. So at, at all times, you need to pay attention to where your hands and your feet are being placed. Um, if you're reaching down in a bush or you're trying to do some yard work this time of year because the weather's good, uh, you don't know if there's a snake under that bush. And if you reach your hand down there, you could get bit and it could be in trouble. It's a pretty unique place out here at the Herpetological Society. I mean, we're standing in a room filled with venomous snakes, correct? This is a, a room full of snakes. There's over 200 venomous snakes in this room. And every one of them is dangerous. Alrighty, so we want to also debunk some other myths besides please do not grab any sort of snake by its head. What about that venom? People always talk about if you get bit by a snake, you're going to want to cut open the wound and then, you know, pinch out the venom or suck it out. No, you don't want to do any of that. You actually, most people that try doing the cutting and the sucking cause more damage to their, their area where they were bitten than if they would just leave it alone, get to the hospital, let them administer the anti-venom, which is going to do its job very effectively and save your life. Also, and they say do not try driving yourself to the hospital either. Remember, keep that elevated. And let me just reach down. I do have some good advice for you. This, guys, is the only snake you should be handling in the wild or when you're in a room surrounded by venomous snakes, just like this gal behind us. Live from the Herpetological Society, where we are debunking those myths and keeping you and your family safe this summer. Back to you. Oh, my gosh. Oh. I would have worn steel-toe boots. I'm so She's Monica. She's got her peep toes on. I would look back.